G'day guys, my name is Jaden. welcome back to my channel. I upload a need to report like this one every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out again. I'm at Tokyo Haneda Airport, Terminal 3, the International Terminal. Today I'm flying Delta Airlines for the first time in over a decade from here to LAX on board their A330neo. It's a very new aircraft, just four months old. Now without further ado, let's go in and check in. Haneda Airport is hustling and bustling this afternoon. Delta Airlines has multiple daily flights from Tokyo Haneda to the US and that's why their check-in area at Haneda Airport is really massive. I've got Delta Gold membership so I'm allowed to use the Sky Priority check-in today. You're still encouraged to do self-check-in first and get your boarding pass and then go line up for the backdrop. While you line up, a security officer is going to come to you and ask you about your visit to the US and then you'll get a sticker on your passport meaning that you're all clear. Check-in was really busy today, even with Sky Priority, it took about 15 minutes. After that, I went to security and immigration. It was really fast, and then I did some duty-free shopping. I love the Japanese snacks they've got to offer at the airports in Japan. The tourism industry in Japan is still recovering. They've still got restrictions on travelers coming from the mainland China, and flight caps for flights coming from Hong Kong. Shinjuku wasn't as busy as before yet, and you can see that some stores haven't reopened at Haneda Airport. Delta has a Sky Club at Haneda Airport. It's the only Sky Team Airline operator lounge at Haneda. So today I'm flying in Economy Plus, and with my Delta Gold status, I was still able to use the lounge before my Delta flight. Now, I took this flight in January 2023. Since February 2023, things have changed dramatically. Due to overcrowding in Delta Sky Clubs throughout the world, Delta has implemented changes regarding lounge access. Delta Gold Platinum and Diamond members flying in main cabin or economy comfort will no longer receive lounge access before their flight. That includes long-haul international flights. So if I were to fly this today, I would have no lounge access. Elite frequent flyers of Delta need to be flying in premium economy or business to receive lounge access. If you're members of other SkyTeam airlines, the lounge access rules remain unchanged. Despite overcrowding in this lounge right here right now, I've got a lot of good things to say. The moment I passed the reception and entered the lounge, a very friendly staff greeted me by my last name and took me to a seat with great tarmac view. He said, Mr Wong, would you like the window seat here? The same gentleman looked after me throughout my whole stay in the lounge. He would come by like every five minutes and come to me and say, may I collect your plate, Mr Wong? The service from that gentleman was really professional and polished. I've never ever experienced that even in first class lounges. In the Haneda Delta Sky Club, they've got a full buffet, a ramen bar and a drink bar. And the lovely staff would occasionally come by to give out champagne, Japanese snacks and tea bag to take home with. They also just passed by to give out this orange alcoholic drink. It was really good but I can't remember exactly what it was. So the Sky Club has multiple shower rooms. All of them were occupied except for this accessible one. I wasn't going to take a shower anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, so here you go. The entire shower suite is rather massive. You've got a bidet toilet like you would expect in Japan. It's not super pretty here, like it's got no flashing gold decors and marble walls, but it's got everything you need in an airport shower room. So that was a great lounge experience. I rate it really highly. Now it's time to get on board this A330-900 to Los Angeles. Aircraft registration is November 416 Delta X-Ray. It's my first time on the A330neo, so I can't wait. One more show the passport again. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. I believe that A350 is going to go to Detroit. We're flying in economy comfort today. Basically main cabin or economy, but with extra legroom. Hello. Hey, sorry for the cross over My seat today is 34J. So originally I booked in economy, but a couple of days before departure, Delta upgraded me to a comfort seat. This is one of the benefits for being a Delta member. Now let's go through the seat features at 34J. So you've got a personal TV, it's touch screen. Down here you've got USB port and headphone jack. Your tray table can be moved back and forth, but you can't fold it in half. 
seat pockets down here. In total, you've got three pouches. And this one is perfect for your passport or mobile phone slash cell phone. Economy comfort legroom here is about 35 inches. It's really, really good. I can cross my legs easily. Down here, you've got a universal power socket and also a USB port to share with your neighbor. Finally, every seat has a comfortable, adjustable headrest. Ready for you on this long haul flight is a travel kit. I'll show you the content. So we've got basic stuff like eye shade, toothbrush, toothpaste and earbuds. We've also got blanket and pillow. Both are quite good in quality. Our cabin crew is giving out disposable earphones. If you do need any assistance, let a flight attendant know. If you do find yourself sitting at the exit row, please announce this flight 8 non-stop service to Los Angeles, California. Our flight today is under the command of Captain Douglas Hudson and Captain Stephen Maddox. They're assisted by First Officers John Adams and Gregory Gover. They've informed us of a 9-hour and 8-minute flight en route to uh, Los Angeles today. My name is Gina. I'm the first on board. Lucia is our service leader in the main cabin. And along with eight other Los Angeles based flight attendants, we're going to do everything we can to make your flight a most enjoyable and safe one. At this time, we'd like to acquaint you with the safety features of our Airbus B30 aircraft. Please direct your attention to all the video screens throughout the cabin as we present the video. And once it has concluded, we'll be on our final safety check and can answer any questions you still might have at that time. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome aboard. Announcements on this flight are made in English and Japanese. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. For children who weigh less than 35 pounds, place the best around the FM flight. That A330 Neo is pushing back for Seattle. Cabin lights are completely dimmed for our takeoff. Panita Airport is really busy right now, we're not taking off from this runway, but we are waiting patiently for this Asiana A330 to land and then we're gonna taxi through it. We've now taken off, I'll quickly show you the in-flight entertainment system. On Delta, you have plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. There are no external cameras on board for you to view. Here's the flight map, it's interactive. You can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. The cabin crew began the in-flight service shortly after takeoff. It began with a bottle of Evian water with a tablecloth set with wooden utensils. I thought this setup is really really fancy for economy class and it's really unique to Delta. 
It's gonna be a while until they start serving the meal, so let's drink some water and use the loo. Welcome on board Delta A330 Neo Economy Class Lavatory. I'm in the one between the two economy cabins. So it's actually quite tiny here. You've got beautiful moot lighting, the toilet itself, and on this side you've got this beautiful Airbus coat hook. And a uh, Qantas flight attendant discovered this for me. So there's like a little white rubber in there. So when you put it back, it is soft and it doesn't create a loud bang. I'm gonna change it into my pajamas for this red eye, so this is really useful. I'm actually so mad at myself. So I got off the plane wearing my PJs and I left my trouser and my belt in the over locker bin when I disembarked. So I'm now just watching Tom Cruise's movie, Top Gun, and dinner is nearly served at my row. Fish, what, fish. what's fish with, sorry? Just fish. This fish. is like a more like a Japanese kind, so rice. I'll have that one, rice? Okay. Yes, thank you. For dinner, we've got two options, either a Japanese fish rice or chicken pasta. Can you just smash for your champagne in there? Yeah, thanks very much. For beverages, I went for orange juice and sparkling wine, so I'm going to make myself a mimosa. For the main, I opted for the Japanese fish rice. It came with a starter, not sure what it was, but it's got mixed vegetables. For dessert, it's a Haggadah's ice cream. So the sparkling that they serve in economy is from Californian brand Unfem, and Unfem proudly supports women winemakers. Overall, this was a delicious meal. The fish was flavorful, the rice was moist, and this Californian sparkling is quite good. Soon, the cabin crew came back to collect meal trays and offer us a second round of drinks, including hot beverages. Anything else to drink? Yes, please. Can I have a tea with milk, please? Do you want black tea or green tea? Uh, black tea. Oh, thank you. Normally, you don't add milk in your green tea, but I found it really funny and cute that the crew had to make sure and asked. Now it's bedtime, lights off, but most people are still watching their movies. The cabin crew never really came back to the aisle to check on the passengers after that drink service, but they were responsive to call buttons. They've also got snacks and drinks available in the back galley. Our flight departed at 6pm, so I'm not really that tired, and I was only asleep for maybe 2-3 hours. So when I was awake, I was listening to Spotify music. I really like how they've got Spotify on board. I use Apple Music, but I personally prefer Spotify. And also they've got free Wi-Fi on board. It allows you to text on WhatsApp, iMessage and Facebook's Messenger. For proper browsing, you'll need to pay for internet access. Many hours have passed. We've got about an hour and a half to go and our cabin crew have begun the breakfast service. It's a much smaller meal this time and you've only got one option. You're still given a tablecloth with the utensils in it. For starter, we've got some cut fruits. For the main course, it's a burger or muffin and a filling we've got scrambled eggs and cheese. For beverages, I opted for a tea with milk and water. Now let's give this bad boy a go. It's actually quite delicious. If this was on McDonald's menu, I would buy it. Service will be discontinued at this time to enable us to prepare the aircraft for landing. This would be an opportune time to stow any carry-on items you've used throughout the flight. So the cabin crew is encouraging people to use lavatory now because we're landing an hour ahead of schedule and we might not have a gate when we arrive at LAX. And now we've begun our descent into LAX, I'll quickly conclude this trip port with Delta right here right now. Our journey today started at Haneda Airport. I arrived at the check-in early and it was still so busy, so do go to the airport early if you're flying in main cabin and got no status. Delta Sky Club in Haneda is amazing. It's new, great tarmac view, they've got this cute ramen bar and a full bar as well, and the service was impeccable. You'll be greeted by your last name when you're there. Moving on, on board this A330neo, I can't say this is the best economy seat out there. It hasn't got many seat features, like a separate cup holder and foldable tray table. And also, there's no double seat back padding, so on a longer flight, your back might be a bit sore. The amenities, however, are really good. There's a travel kit, a pillow and a blanket for each passenger. For in-flight meal and beverages, the first meal was really delicious. I got the Japanese fish rice. Delta does offer a lot of beverages in economy, including spirits and sparkling wine. 
I also love how they've got the tablecloth. It makes the whole dining experience in economy class more luxury and formal. Our cabin crew today were absolutely lovely. Now they won't walk around the cabin like how flight attendants in Asian airlines would do, but the crew we've got were lovely people and very enthusiastic. So overall today a very good flight with Delta. I do rate them very highly, especially for a western carrier. Do let me know in the comment what you think about Delta. Now for your information. Booking flights from Japan to LAX is quite expensive at the moment, but when I booked this flight, I paid only 80,000 Japanese yen for Tokyo LAX return. And this was full main cabin, not even basic economy. And it was quite interesting, I was looking at my ticket invoice. A huge chunk of what I paid went to taxes, fees and charges. The airfare was only 10,000 yen. Basic economy would basically be free then. So that's it from me today, thank you so much for watching. I really really hope that you enjoyed watching this one, and if you did, Please leave a like, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I upload a need to report like this one every Monday and Thursday. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out again. Each and every of your action is going to improve my YouTube algorithm and stimulate the growth of my channel, so I really do appreciate. My social media accounts are showing on the screen, so Instagram, Facebook, Be Real, TikTok, and Snapchat. And finally, if you want to make direct impacts into funding my flights, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. Please visit the links in the description for more information. Now please enjoy the approach and landing into LAX. I'll have a vlog following after. Bye bye. Oh, you're welcome. She, she was so bad. 
Bye bye. Thank you. So this is my first time landing into Tom Bradley, and here's an obligatory photo. I'm now on the bus to Union Station. From memory, it was about nine to ten dollars. My final destination, or my hotel, was Hilton Checkers in downtown LA. So after getting off the bus at Union Station, I had to catch the subway. It's only two stations away, and then a five-minute walk to Hilton. I didn't really feel much today, but here's the next day. I woke up early and then at 9.50 we went downstairs and then we went to explore what Los Angeles has to offer. I did some research and there are multiple hiking trails you can do in LA. Today I decided to go on the Runyon Canyon Park. We're now going to take the train back to downtown and then another train to Santa Monica. For dinner, we're going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I've never been to one before, and the USA never failed to shock me with their portion sizes. I'm a terrible vlogging assistant. Slice we're now Ubering back to the hotel. Tomorrow, it's flying again with Delta to LaGuardia via Atlanta. Do stay tuned for those true reports. Before I forget, I'm gonna do a quick room tour of my room at the uh, downtown Hilton LA. So that's the door. Wardrobe with a door. I almost thought it was a pantry. You got a very massive TV. Coffee, tea, fridge here. Working desk, I was editing video just now. Plenty of space here, which I love. My suitcase, a full size right there. A sofa and my king bed. The bathroom, quite beautiful. Marble floor. And the bathtub. There is no view though, however. Totally covered by another Building, can't really see anything right now, but yeah, it's just a building right there. It's blocked completely. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned.